Hey everybody, it is your girl here, Genuinely Divine, coming at you today with a video all about dating an Aquarius. It doesn't matter if you're dating an Aquarius, crushing on an Aquarius, married to an Aquarius, or whatever the case may be about your Aquarius person. I'm going to share some tips on how to date this zodiac sign of Aquarius the right way. <laughs> If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, okay? Now let's get into the video. The first tip that I'm going to give you about dating in Aquarius is to be a humanitarian, okay? Be someone that's concerned about human suffering. Aquarius are people who are usually concerned about the community, the community that they live in, or if they're someone really, really big and they have like this huge, um, they have a huge platform, they would definitely use their platform to send a message to the people to be better, to build humanship. They're just very big on helping everyone to become their greater self. So if you can show your Aquarius person that you are big on you know, wanting to help other people, like maybe you donate a lot to charities or you participate in charitable activities often, share that information with your Aquarius person. They're going to really find value in the idea that you participate in charitable activities. This is going to really impress them. And Aquarius people are very difficult to impress, but they are impressed by things that deals with helping people helping mankind. Another tip that I will share with you about dating an Aquarius is please be open. Please have a broad mind. They do not like to deal with people who have a narrow mindset. You have to remember that Aquarius are the rebels of the zodiac sign. They rebel against societal norms, so they don't want to date someone who wants to abide by the societal rules standards of how you should be, how you should dress, what determines your success in life. They don't like to live by those rules. They like to make their own rules. They like to live outside of the box. This is a sign of individuality. So if you can show your Aquarius person that you can be your own individual self, not worrying about what society is going to think about you, then hey, your Aquarius person will be like, hey, this is the one for me. As you guys know, Aquarius rules the 11th house. The 11th house is the house of groups, organizations, friendships. You know, this is the house of achievements also. So your Aquarius person is usually very creative, very innovative. And one thing I must tell you about the Aquarius person is they love their freedom. This is an air sign, air and fire signs. They love their freedom. They do not like to be confined. So if you are dating or in a relationship with an Aquarius, please do not be clingy. Do not feel like you own them because you don't. And they will immediately let you know that you don't own them, okay? Remember, these are the rebels of the Zodiac. You cannot control them. If rules set by the law does not control them, then you're not going to either. Keep that in mind. Aquarius people tend to be extremely unique. They're different or they're going to be more different than probably anyone you've ever dated. You know, like you've dated someone and you're like, if you, you can play these manipulative games or you can do these sweet gestures you know whatever the case may be and you can kind of like get them to just kind of like give in to you or whatever that's not going to work with Aquarius okay because Aquarius they're not really big on romance they're not really big on one to one one on one relationships they're more they're more passionate about groups you know more like huge organizations you know where they can make a difference in people's lives one-on-one -on -one relationships is like mediocre to aquarius keep that in mind so if you do get that special place just remember you must be doing something absolutely correct you watched my video <laughs> 
Now, a lot of people think that Aquarius is a water sign because they are the water barriers. No, they are an air sign, but they are the water barriers because of the simple fact the water barrier is their symbol. And mainly because Aquarius are the people that bring things to the people. Aquarius is all about humanitarian goals. So they want human suffering to end. So they'll be the one to take water, canned goods, whatever it is that it takes to make a difference in people's lives. Those who are suffering, they will do anything. Your Aquarius person may be the type of person they're not against putting on a clown suit or putting on some weird particular suit or something. They don't care what people say about them. If it's going to make a difference in the community, that's exactly what they will do, not caring about what anybody else thinks of them. Now, another thing about the Aquarius person is they hate to be with people who are stupid. So if you say something that's really stupid, that just does not make sense, they may call you out on it or they're just gonna look at you like you're a fool. They love intelligent people because they are intelligent. So they really want to be around someone who's intelligent. So don't say dumb things that do not make sense because they don't like that. And then they're gonna just deem you as being dumb or stupid or crazy, whatever the case may be, they're not going to like you. In order to get an Aquarius to be on your side or to even reach a romantic level with them, you must first become their friend. They rule the friendship house, these people. They thrive on friendship. A lot of times Aquarius are better to their friends than they are to the person that's close in a relationship with them. And that's just because they just don't have the nature of everyone else where they want to connect with this one person and have this sole purpose. That's not what Aquarius came here to do. They came here to save mankind to provide so you have to understand that and be if you want to be with your Aquarius person you need to be a part of that now as I will always tell you guys that the Sun sign tells us a lot it is the core of our being right but it's not the whole story whenever you are looking at a love compatibility or being in a relationship with someone you must incorporate the moon sign so I'm gonna run through the element of the moon sign placement with your Aquarius person and give you a brief description of how your Aquarius person just might be dependent on the element of their moon sign. If your Aquarius person has an earth moon, this is going to be that Aquarius person who is really, really structured in life, who is really, really big on their creations innovating their career they're just going to be the stable person who's not going to be the ultimate social butterfly like most Aquarius people are they're gonna be a little bit more focused on their goals you know they're gonna be a little bit more focused on stability these are the Aquarius people that tend to get married pretty early and a lot of times their relationship is more mathematical than it is an actual bond or romance or something it's just all about being with someone and and adding that structure to their lives if your Aquarius person has their moon in a water sign these tend to be the Aquarius people that settle down pretty early in life also but a lot of times they do show a lot of emotion these are the ones that do cry in public when a lot of Aquarius people they really don't show a lot of emotion but this is one of the Aquarian people that do show their emotion who do talk about their emotions and a lot of times they do bond pretty deeply with the person that they're in a relationship with so if you can find an Aquarius person with a moon and water, then th this is probably going to be that one that's going to really bond with you well. But it can also go another way also. They can also be very manipulative in their behavior. So you have to be pay close attention to your Aquarian person. If your Aquarius person has their moon in a fire sign, this is the social butterfly. This is the one who is so passionate about their community. They're passionate about organizations and groups. They're passionate about making a difference in their community 
This is very important to them. They're not going to give up on that goal. They're not going to let their relationship interfere with this. They're going to be driven. These are the ones that are very difficult to settle down in a relationship. A lot of times, these are the ones who feel like they're not even made for relationships. So they sometimes they will give up on relationships altogether at some point in time in their life. So this is the one that you definitely want to be aware of because this is the one that really embodies the traits of an of a true Aquarius. If your Aquarius person has their moon in an air sign, double air, this is going to be that shallow Aquarian person who is really all about the surface, but at the same token, they're still very, very sociable. They still participate a lot in charitable events. They're never going to give up on that. But the thing is, a lot of times they're all over the place, you know, they're everywhere. They probably dedicate their whole life to um, charitable events or social activities. They probably never really want to settle down in relationships. And if they do settle down in a relationship, it is going to feel more like a friendship than it would a romantic relationship. So the person on the receiving end of the love or the of the love of the Aquarian person, they're gonna feel like, you know, they don't really have a bond with this person. So you guys, that's really my take on dating an Aquarius. So let me know down in the comment section which trait fits your Aquarian person in your life. And until the next time, you guys, I wish you so much love, peace, and so many wonderful blessings. Bye.